A patio is poured. Find the cost to pour if concrete is sold in whole cubic yards only and cost $115 per cubic yard delivered. I want to zoom in on this picture here. Our picture shows a trapezoid 20 feet wide on one side, 30 feet wide on the other, 13 feet wide on both diagonals, and an 8 inch thickness. Okay? So we need to start with finding the volume of this figure. Okay? Now, the volume of any figure, okay, the volume of any figure, the volume of any figure can be found by taking the area of the base times the height or the thickness. So the area of the base times the height or the thickness. Well, the area of the base, the base being the part that's on the ground, the, the, that's a trapezoid. So we need to find the area of this trapezoid. Well, the problem is the area of a trapezoid, okay, the area of a trapezoid is one half H A plus B, okay? Well, this is A and this is B and H is between A and B and it's perpendicular to A and it's perpendicular to B. They did not give me H and there's my problem. So I have to find H. Well, what I'm going to do is real simple, folks. I'm going to look at it this way. Since both of these diagonals are 13 feet, that means that these corners are symmetric. So if this is 20, that means from here to here is also 20. That leaves me 10 extra feet. So 5 here and 5 here. Okay. Now, Pythagorean's theorem, what do we do? We say, okay, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm going to say a squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. So a squared plus 25 equals 169. And if I subtract 25, I get a squared equals 144. A equals 12. Yay! So what does that mean for me? That means this is 12 feet. 12 feet and 12 feet. Okay? So all of that goes back to this. So now I take my area formula and I plug in what I know. Okay? The top is 20, the bottom is 30, and the height is 12. So I say, okay, 1 half times 12 times 20 plus 30. Okay? So what does that give me? That gives me um, 6 times 50, which is 300 feet squared. Okay? That's the area of this trapezoid. Now, I don't want area. I want volume. How do we find the volume of any figure? It's area times height. So that's okay. Well, the area is 300 feet squared. And the height, well, the height is 8 inches. The problem is if I say feet squared times inches, I get feet square inches. That's not a real unit. So before I do this, I need to convert my inches into feet. I need to convert my inches into feet. So kind of off to the side somewhere, I say, okay, I've got 8 inches times what? 1 foot, 12 inches. What do we get? We get 8 twelfths of a foot. So I'm going to say 8 twelfths of a foot. 8 twelfths of a foot. Okay. And when I say 300 times 8 twelfths, I end up with 200 cubic feet. Alright, yay, I found the volume. 200 cubic feet. Except I've got a problem. They didn't ask me for the cubic feet. They didn't actually ask me for the volume at all. They told me that concrete cost $115 per cubic yard. So I know I need to convert this to cubic yards. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I say, all right, 200 cubic feet. Ran into my camera there, sorry. <laughs> 
And then uh, if you've seen my videos, you've seen this before. Three feet is one yard. And we're going to do this conversion three times. Okay. Feet cubed cancels with feet cubed. And what do we do mathematically? We say 200 divided by 3, divided by 3, divided by 3, since 3 is on the bottom. And when I do this, I end up with 7.4 cubic yards. Now, normally you would say, oh, there's my answer, 7.4 cubic yards. Okay, but I'm going to go back to the problem for a second. Okay, go back to the problem for a second. It says concrete is sold in whole cubic yards and cost $115 per cubic yard. Okay, what I'm telling you there is you cannot buy 7.4 cubic yards. You can buy 7 or you can buy 8. If you buy 7, you will have a hole in your patio. So you have to buy 8. And this bothers a lot of people because 7.4 in their minds rounds down to 7. But in the real world, you have to have excess rather than run out and not have enough. Okay, So in this problem, this becomes 8 cubic yards. Okay, And then what do we know? We know it's $115 per cubic yard. So what happens? These cancel out and we have 8 times 115. Well, 8 times 115 is $920. Okay? So $920. So to pour this trapezoidal patio would cost you $920. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please let me know.